What's going on folks? I'm Ned from Ned's Tech Bits. Today we're taking a look at and appreciating science and mechanics. This is February 1950. Today we're taking a look at tomorrow's Plain Sprouts Extra Wings. Double duty furniture. You can build. Remember back in a time when we could build our own furniture? Throw away that truss. What's a truss? Now this is one thing I find interesting about antique. Could I, I could almost call this antique. What is this? What are they writing about? I don't understand. Maybe it's about insoles. Five reasons why accountancy offers more money and success. I've never heard the word accountancy. Over on the left, we have Speedway Tools. I've never heard of Speedway Tools. And while I am not a gearhead, I have worked with a lot of people that have a lot of tools. I wonder what happened to them. I'd like to point out that there are definitely a remarkable amount of uh, advertisements in learning, which is wonderful. And I'm also seeing a lot of advertisements for, um, you know, just secret stuff like the Masons. Nice. Now, I'm looking into this to kind of get a signs of our time. What were the signs of the time like in the 50s? What was society and technology, culture, what were these things like then? A lot, of cha a lot has changed. We legitimately have a loom here, a loom wheel. I don't think my kids know what this is or how important this is. Do you, the viewer of this video? Oh man, that guy's got us all beat as far as barbecues go. Look at that thing. I want to move into it. I don't know what that thing is, but I think it's probably going to give that poor man cancer. Hey TikTokers, I got one for you here. Become a doctor of psychology. Win the degree of PSD. Teach the secrets of... Co oh, man. It's like, yeah, win the degree. Don't earn it. The College of Universal Truth. Wow. Did anyone take this seriously? What? Huh? Now, you got to get used to seeing a lot of these Motors Auto repair manuals. There's a lot of people who learned a lot about repair directly from these manuals, which had pictures of exactly what things look like when you're looking at the car, which seems to be one thing that we got away from later. Millions of electrical appliances are calling for help. If you don't come and help them, we'll just import them from other countries. <laughs> Mount your own hunting trophies. Stuff that your wife would be so grateful that you didn't do. House construction details. Hmm, I think all of my generation could use a read through that book. Don't envy the plumber. Be one. I can't think of ever envying the plumber. I've respected the plumber. I've feared the plumber, but I never wanted to be one. You see, way back in the day, I bet in the 50s, yeah, in the 50s in my area, we still didn't have water closets in every room. So, for example, like in my old Victorian home, this was originally like a hallway pretty much, and eventually it got switched into the bathroom. And that was probably about in the 50s. Yeah, body repair. This guy looks a little bit too happy to be doing auto repair. I don't know, if you got a smile like that and you're doing auto repair, something's up. Jeez, frick, instructional records. I don't think I've seen any of those before. A flex shaft that's sitting on the end of a drill press. Okay. All right, that's interesting. Look at these analog skills people legitimately wanted to learn. Nobody cares about playing the, well, uh, accordion. Maybe some people care about playing the guitars that they want to get ladies at parties, but I don't know too many girls playing guitars these days. Maybe I need to get out a little bit more. Back in the day when men knew how to use lathes. Hmm. Convert hand mowers to power mowers? Guys, guys, that's a lawnmower right there. You used to have to push your lawnmower. But they put a motor on the end of that? Whoa, I wonder if the wheels turn like the blades turn. That is a really cool circular saw attachment. I wonder what the wear and tear on that might be like. Your search for peace of mind and soul rests with this Egyptian holding a candle. Manufacture your own concrete blocks. That sounds like fun. I might try that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Raise hamsters. The new wonderful animal from Syria, often called toy bears, delightful pets. Everyone wants them. Laboratories need thousand. Clean, odorless. <laughs> odorless, eh? That doesn't look so bad. I mean, he's pulling it off. It's not, it's just like 
fun till your friends find out, right? That looks like fun, even if your friends found out. Get on the back. And then a little bit lower. I have been on the internet way too long. That last word. Now we got some Harley Davidson, the thrift way to travel, and it's more fun. Harley Davidson 125. Mm, very nice, very nice. Little Atoms versus the Killer Bug. I'm pretty sure they tried to use uh, this stuff in order to keep the bot, bot fly dead in the state somewhere. Oh, this is uh, difficult. X-ray picture taken of Ohio State University shows radioactive cobalt needles at work and the cancer's lower. Uh, can't, uh, no, no. Huh, that's what the original rear projection looked like. Also, that's what your grandma looked like. Snoogans. A recorder marks ship's course automatically. Back in the day when output was just on paper. This would be interesting for gearhead. Head super lift cabs, super engines. I guess this was a new thing when the, the cab went that way. Jeez, I wonder if they had coffee holders. Outsmarting Willie the Rat. Oh, jeez, try putting a picture of that in a magazine and see how that goes for you. These days. These days. So this is literally just all about how to keep your place insulated, how to keep rats out, and that's wonderful. 1950s. The comeback of the electric cars, eh? The comeback. Jeez, I love it when old folks do things that we do these days. I mean, how far could that go? What kind of battery is that? That can't be lead acid. That couldn't get you too far off that size. Okay, it works with standard 24 volt uh, auto batteries, but now they're all 12 volt. I think I've seen some 6 volt before. There is always some crazy guy out there trying to make it around the world in a small boat. Well, go for it, bud. Good luck. All right, I, I have never had a magazine that had this so much information in about keeping your, your motorcycle, basically. Okay, power cycle. Interesting that they call it that, not a motorcycle. But, dude, this data is beautiful. It just gives you everything. Like Lewis Rossman talking about the right to repair. He told me about this stuff. You just get everything, and it makes so much more sense to me. Stop furnace leaks. Look at that old furnace. That is something right out of Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh my goodness. War equipment mail sale. I gotta get right in on this. Guys, if anyone has any stories of what they've actually managed to get from these, even way back in the day, please, please let me know. Let me know. What is the weird stuff that you've managed to get? Welding generator, a wench. Nice, nice. And <laughs> check this out. Molly Screw Acres. Anchors. <laughs> now it's fully installed. Pretty cool. Legitimately, hurricane lamps is something that your grandma would have used. And there's just so, so many. Like, how to. How to repair binoculars? Are you serious? Whoa. Take a look at this. People used to actually make these rugs for fun. For other people to stand on and it didn't upset them. Man, I bet your mental health and ability to focus would be a lot better after weaving one of those together. Help you focus right through that child abuse you lived through. I should build a boat. It really seems like they're just daring me to build a boat here. Oh, I love it. Humor and advertisement. But I always carry Wellwood glue. <laughs> it's wonderful for emergencies. She's like, oh, okay. I would never trust any boat that I made. So this is where the real money shot is. Radio, television, electronics, super midget portable. Guys, I can't get over this. Turn the frickin' page. It shows you how to make them. It's not just advertising for them. They make them. Well, they don't make them, but they show you how you can make them. Jeez, I really wish I could boost my internet the way that this guy's talking about boosting television and radio over the air. How do you boost a signal that's coming in? It sounds like it just better splits the... It better splits the signal that goes to your picture that sometimes gets messed in with the audio. Locate uranium. Osco geyser counters have an... In, oh. <laughs> Locating rich strikes of radioactive materials? No! What? No, run, run.
Boys Midget Radio, build your own. Okay, that definitely sounds like fun. I want in on that. The Midget Car, where if your wife is giving you a hard time, you just send her in and let her drive around the blocks, talk to her friends. So you might think you're cool playing with solar and lithium-ion batteries, but back in the day, yeah, your grandpa was playing with steam, and that's real hardcore. You ever get burned working with steam? Well, you can definitely tell this magazine came from a different age. Servicing portable tools. It's called throwing it out and buying new, unfortunately. Let's face it, right? Hmm, getting into ceramics, eh? Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, hmm, nice, hello. I am terrified of the idea of even attempting to use one of these things. They look like they come from the 50s, but wow, you gotta send off to college, university, just to figure out how to use that. They literally show you how to make your own close-up lens. Your own close-up lens. Wow, there is so much information in here. Man, it looks like a world where everyone wanted to run their own business. I wonder how well that worked out for them. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Have a good one. Take care of each other, will you?